Welcome to Girl Scouts. This is Badgerland Volunteer Essentials, a quick online training to get you oriented to Badgerland Council. Badgerland Council is so excited for you to join the Girl Scout movement. Girl Scouts empowers girls everywhere. They nurture innovation and develop leadership skills. We prepare girls to overcome challenges and advocate for their ideas now and later. With an emphasis on self-discovery, character building, and community impact, Girl Scouts helps girls become a powerful force of good in the world. You're now part of a team and we can't wait to see what kind of impact you have this year. Let's talk a little bit more about the organization of Girl Scouts. Girl Scouts of the USA or GSUSA is a national organization supporting the work of more than 100 councils across the US for more than 100 years. This is headquartered in New York. Girl Scouts of Wisconsin Badgerland, this is your council, is an independent 501c3 nonprofit chartered by GSUSA. Your membership area is a geographical region comprised of volunteers who support the work of troop volunteers within a given geographic area. And then troops, which you're probably most familiar with, are volunteer supervised groups of girls who participate in the Girl Scout leadership experience. A little bit more detail on Badgerland Council. The map on the left shows the area of Wisconsin that Badgerland serves in dark green. Badgerland Council spans a 23 county region in South Central and Southwest Wisconsin. The map on the right breaks down, breaks down the area that Badgerland serves into numbered membership areas, or MAs. Badgerland has 32 MAs. Who needs to register for Girl Scouts? Any girl participating in Girl Scout activities, as well as any adult acting in a leadership role, must be registered as a member. An active adult leadership role is defined as someone who is a troop co-leader, any troop volunteer who is handling finances or product, or any chaperone who is necessary to meet the adult to girl ratios. The number of ratio adults needed for your specific level is detailed later in this training. Badgerland Council runs background checks on all of our volunteers, ensuring the safety of our girls and finances. Girl registrations must be completed online no later than the first troop meeting or activity that the girls attend. Any adult in a leadership role must have, completed uh, must have a completed background check on file and must be registered before meeting with or chaperoning girls. All registrations for returning members need to be completed online no later than September 30th. Where do those registration fees go? All Girl Scouts, girls and adults, pay the annual $25 membership fee that goes directly to GSUSA to support national programs, girl research and training. Though collected locally, none of this annual membership fee stays at the council level. The council adds a council service fee of $10 used to help meet programming needs and offset the increasing cost of providing wide-ranging opportunities to Badgerland. Total girl membership dues are $35, $25 to GSUSA, $10 to the council. Parents, guardians, and or troops make a convenient single payment for girl membership dues. Please note, the council service fee only applies to girl registration because our service is to the girls. Adult registration is $25. Badgerland's website, gsbadgerland.org, is really your clearinghouse for all Badgerland Girl Scout information, so bookmark this page. gsbadgerland.org allows you to manage your volunteer experience online. After your background check process is completed and you're approved to serve as a volunteer, you'll receive an email confirmation prompting you to sign into MyGS. This is your Girl Scout member community. MyGS allows you to manage your member experience online. Go to gsbadgerland.org and click on Sign In in the upper right corner of the site. On the Troop tab in MyGS, or Member Profile, you can see any girls and adults who have signed up for your troop and add new girls to your troop. You will receive a Welcome New Troop Leader email with details on leader training and resources available to you as a troop leader. If you have not received this hello email, check your junk email folder. They sometimes end up in there. See page 18 of the Leader's Guide to Success for more details on required training. When you have successfully signed into MyGS, you will have a choice between Volunteer Toolkit and Member Profile. Member Profile is where you go to manage your membership, and if you are a troop leader, your troop's membership. On, on the Troop tab in Member Profile, you can see any girls and adults who have signed up for your troop and add new girls to your troop. If you are a troop co-leader, Volunteer Toolkit is where you will go to get digital access to Girl Scout curriculum and handy year planning tools. Service centers and shops. Badgerland has four service centers or offices where Badgerland staff work and volunteers can go and shop, pick up items, receive trainings, and many other things. In Madison, Janesville, Platteville, and La Crosse. 
Each service center has a shop where Girl Scout uniforms and curriculum and many other Girl Scout items are available. The best way to find out shop hours and locations is to click on Shop in the upper right-hand corner of gsbadgerland.org. Any girl in grades K through 12 can join the fun at Girl Scouts. Girls are placed in the appropriate grade level according to what grade they're at in school. Daisies are in kindergarten and first grade, brownies are in grades two through three, juniors are in grades four through five, cadets are in grades six, seven, and eight, seniors are in grades nine and 10, and ambassadors are in grades 11 and 12. Let's talk a little bit about uniforms. They're an important part of the Girl Scout experience, connecting girls to Girl Scout traditions, displaying their accomplishments, and creating memories to last a lifetime. Girl Scouts at each level now wear one required element, tunic, sash, or vest, to display their official pins and awards. Troop leaders can collect money from parents and purchase sashes, vests, and insignia from a council shop, or ask parents to purchase items on their own. Financial assistance for uniform components is available for qualifying families. If you are a troop leader, you will learn much more about uniforms in your new leader training. What is the Girl Scout program? At Girl Scouts, girls have tons of fun, make new friends, and go on fantastic new adventures. Our program centers on something called the Girl Scout Leadership Experience, a collection of activities and experiences girls have as they complete journeys, earn badges, sell cookies, go on exciting trips, explore the outdoors, and do take action projects that make a difference. What do girls, girl, what do girls do at Girl Scouts? They discover who they are and what they care about and what their talents are. They connect with other people locally and globally, to take action, to do something to make the world a better place. Girl Scout volunteers guide girls through their leadership experience using the three processes. Activities are girl-led, girls work together cooperatively, and girls learn by doing. Girl Scouts offers exciting curriculum choices for girls from daisies to ambassadors to help girls discover, connect, and take action. Journeys help girls identify a problem, come up with a creative solution, create a team plan to make the solution a reality, put the plan into action and talk about what they've learned. As girls go on journeys, they'll earn awards to put on their uniforms. Badges and pedals. Note, pedals are only for daisies. What have your girls always wanted to do? Make their own movie, plant a garden? They can do all these things and more while earning Girl Scout badges. Badges go on the front of the uniform. Patches. Think of patches like a collecting memories in Girl Scouts. They're often a part of the fun activities you do in Girl Scouts without the requirements of badges. Patches go on the back of the uniform. Our highest awards, bronze, silver, and gold. These three awards give girls the chance to do big things while working on an issue they care about. Whether they want to plant a community garden and inspire others to eat healthy for their bronze, advocate for animal rights for their silver, or build a career network that encourages girls to become scientists for their gold, they'll inspire. Juniors can earn the bronze, cadets the silver, and seniors ambassadors work towards the gold. If you're a troop co-leader, you will learn more about the full range of curriculum choices at the level that you are leading and how to access that curriculum through the traditional printed materials and through our digital resource volunteer toolkit at your new leader training. On gsbadgerland.org, there's an important page for any Girl Scout volunteer, and I want to show you exactly how to get there. To get to the volunteer resources page, go to gsbadgerland.org, click on volunteers, circled in yellow in this picture. Then use the menu on the left to go to Volunteer Resources, boxed in yellow on this picture. Volunteer Essentials Resource Guide, Safety Activity Checkpoints, and other critically important documents live on this page. Keeping girls safe. Understanding how many volunteers you need. Girl Scout groups are large enough to provide a cooperative learning environment and small enough to allow development of individual girls. Girl Scouts' volunteer-to-girl ratios show the minimum number of volunteers needed to supervise a specific number of girls. These supervision ratios were devised to ensure the safety and health of all girls. Your group must have at least two unrelated approved volunteers present at all times, plus additional volunteers as necessary, depending on the size of the group and the ages and abilities of the girls. Any adult that is supervising girls must be, approved, must be an approved volunteer. Adult volunteers must be at least 18 years old and must be screened before volunteering. One troop co-leader in every group must be female. Where can you find this ratio chart and other important safety information? At gsbadgerland.org on the volunteer resources page or in your printed Leader's Guide to Success. Planning safe activities. When preparing for any activity with girls, start by reading the Girl Scout safety activity checkpoints for that particular activity. Find these on the resources tab of the volunteer toolkit and 
and in the volunteer resources section of gsbadgerland.org. Each safety activity checkpoint lists required guidelines on where to do the activity, how to include girls with disabilities, where to find basic and specialized gear for the activity, how to prepare for the activity, and the steps to follow on the day of the activity. Safety activity checkpoints will note if first aid is required. What to do in an emergency. At the scene of the incident, safety is the first priority. Provide care for the injured person or obtain medical assistance and then report the emergency to Badgerland. Make sure a general first aid kit is available at your meeting place and accompanies girls on any activity. You may need to provide the kit if one is not already available at your meeting location. You must always have on hand the names and numbers of your council office, parents and guardians, and emergency services, such as police, fire department, or hospital. Find this information in an easily printable format on the gsbadgerland.org volunteer resources page or in your printed leader's guide to success. What does it mean to be a Girl Scout leader? It's the amazing journey of helping girls build courage, confidence, and character through Girl Scouts. As a leader, it's important to remember that leadership can bring many joys, including developing a personal relationship with each girl in your troop, building adult friendships through the Sisterhood of Girl Scouts, and receiving sincere appreciation and thanks from the parents. And most importantly, you should know that you are shaping the future by working directly with a girl. The best way to teach girls about leadership and responsibility is to model these qualities. Girl Scout leaders never use foul or vulgar language, drink alcohol, or use other drugs or carry a firearm in front of girls. One great way to be a leadership role model for your girls is to clearly, effectively, and kindly communicate with girls, parents, and caregivers and other adult volunteers. Model the kind of communication you would like to see in your troop and all your Girl Scout interactions. Before you hold your first troop meeting with girls, consider the support and resources you'll need throughout, this, throughout your Girl Scout year. Parents, friends, family, and other members of the community can provide time, experience, and ideas to a troop, so get them involved from the very beginning as part of your volunteer troop team. This team is made up of troop leaders and other adult volunteers. All of these adults must be screened and approved. They commit to these roles based on the amount of time the volunteer has to give and specific interests and areas. Interested individuals should be guided to join or volunteer buttons at gsbadgerland.org. The troop volunteers play a big role in making your troop run smoothly. Ideally, your troop volunteers will include two co-leaders, troop cookie coordinator, one or more chaperones and drivers, fall product sale coordinator, and troop co-treasurers. Troop co-leaders guide, guide the structure and experience of your troop, from how and when meetings are held to how the troop communicates. From steering activities to setting, to setting financial expectations, these decisions may be made collaboratively with your, collaboratively with your volunteer team, as well as with input from your girls and, and their parents and guardians. Girl Scout parents and guardians agree to certain responsibilities when they register their girl for Girl Scouts. Troop leaders should communicate these responsibilities clearly from the beginning. Every Badgerland family should receive a helpful document called a parent guide, pictured here, when they register their girl for Girl Scouts. This document can be a useful reference for you and your parent and guardians. Find it at gsbadgerland.org in the forums section. Guiding your troop experience. Troop co-leaders and other troop volunteers should meet and discuss the troop structure before the first troop planning meeting. You will want to discuss big picture issues, such as your expectations and hopes for your Girl Scout experience, and details like when and where and how often will your troop meet, and how will you fund your Girl Scout experience. For ideas to guide your discussion, see the Badgerland Leader's Guide to Success, found on the Volunteer Resources page of gsbadgerland.org, or in the printed, printed booklet format sent to all new troop co-leaders. Girl Scouting provides the best opportunities for girls when families step up and play an active part in the troop. Without meaningful support from parents, it's difficult for a troop to be all it can be. Plus, girls feel a special sense of pride when their families take part and show interest in the things that they are doing. So what is a troop planning meeting? It's the first meeting you hold to start off each troop year, whether you're a new or returning troop. A troop planning meeting should include all the co-leaders, other troop volunteers, girls and their parents and caregivers. We know it's hard to get all those people together in one place, but it's very valuable. Why? Because it helps parents understand what Girl Scouting can do for their girl. It helps parents and leaders identify ways they can work together as a team to support the troop. It helps parents and leaders agree on what the troop pays for and what the fam families pay for individually. You can fill key troop positions at the troop planning meeting. Parents know how the troop will communicate things like upcoming events, schedule changes, etc. 
parents learn about uniform books, uniforms, books, and other important basics. Kicking off each year with a troop planning meeting gets everyone in the troop on the same page and sets up the troop for success. Outlining clear expectations, building a team, and engaging parents in the Girl Scout experience is a great way to start off on the right foot. When parents are involved, leaders have support and the troop has a plan. Girls benefit. Check out the troop planning meeting section of the Volunteer Essentials Resource Guide found on the Volunteer Resources page of gsbadgerland.org or contact us and ask for the troop planning the troop planning meeting agenda, sorry, for the troop planning meeting agenda handout at info at gsbadgerland.org or 1-800-236-2711. Your first troop meeting is always exciting. It's really where you see the adventure of being a Girl Scout troop leader start to unfold. Uh, your first troop meeting is a great place to get to know the girls, brainstorm all the exciting things your girls want to do this year, Introduce girls to Girl Scout traditions. Introduce the whole troop volunteer team to, their, to the girls and their parents and guardians. If you're feeling a little nervous about leading troop meetings and experiences with your girls, that's okay. Working directly with girls can be challenging, but it's always rewarding and a lot of fun. As a Girl Scout troop leader, you are encouraged to listen to the girls with an open mind and to lead them with your heart. Many adults feel that when working with kids, they have to be an expert and have all the answers. That this is not the case in Girl Scouts. When preparing for your first meeting or any troop meeting, keep these things in mind. It doesn't need to be perfect. There are lots of resources with information and guidance to help you facilitate great troop meetings and experiences, but you're encouraged to be creative. And if you forget part of the troop meeting or the field trip doesn't go exactly as planned or you run out of time, that's okay. The girls aren't expecting perfection from you. Your time, attention, and guidance are the best part of your leadership. Learn with the girls. As you use the girl-led process in the development of your troop's meetings and experiences, the girls will at some point want to earn a badge or complete a project in a subject that's unfamiliar to you. Be open with the girls when you don't know something, but don't use it as a reason to keep them from exploring the topic they're interested in. Instead, become their partner in figuring out how to learn more. When they see you learning alongside them, their confidence in their current knowledge and skills, as well, their, as, well as their ability to learn, will rise. It will also help them understand that learning is a lifelong process. What you need to know about troop finances. Open a bank account. You and one or more approved volunteers should establish a bank account for payment. You and one more approved volunteer should establish a bank account for payment of troop supplies and activities and product sale revenue. Information you need to open your bank account is found on the troop finance guide included in your new troop packet or easily downloaded from the form section of gsbadgerland.org. Financial assistance. Girl Scouts is open to all girls and adults, regardless of their ability to pay. To encourage participation, Girl Scouts of Badgerland Council has budgeted money to help girls and adults who need assistance. Girl members may apply for financial assistance for membership dues, uniforms, girl guides, journey books, summer camps, and sponsored activities and programs. Adult members may also apply for membership dues. Financial assistance is approved on a case-by-case -case basis. Contact customer care for information or assistance at info at gsbadgerland.org or 1-800-236-2710. As a 501c3 nonprofit, volunteers can use the tax-exempt form when purchasing supplies and materials for their Girl Scout troop. The tax-exempt form is found in the form section of gsbadgerland.org. Funding the fun. Girls have some big ideas about what they want to do in Girl Scouts, and if you're a troop co-leader, you will guide them on how to plan and budget for those ideas. How do you do this? Money earning activities. The fall product sale and the cookie programs are the primary money, money earning activities for a troop. You will learn all about these fantastic programs in a separate training when the time is right. Daisies and Brownies may only participate in council-sponsored product sales. Older girls may decide to plan additional activities to fund their higher award projects. These fundraising activities must be approved by Badgerland Council. For a helpful guide to money earning do's and don'ts, see the money earning, money earning application in the form section of gsbadgerland.org. Let's review your resources as a Girl Scout volunteer. Badgerland's website, gsbadgerland.org, is really your clearinghouse for all Badgerland Council Girl Scout information, so bookmark this page. Be sure to visit the Volunteer Resources page on gsbadgerland.org to find important resources like the Leader's Guide to Success, Safety Activity Checkpoints, and Volunteer Essentials. While on gsbadgerland.org, sign in and access your member profile. 
where you go to renew membership, register for volunteer roles, and sign up for activities. Also access Volunteer Toolkit, a digital planning tool that gives you online access to Girl Scout curriculum resources and program content. Use Badgerland's social media to stay connected and see what other troops are up to. Connect with Badgerland on social channels. Nearly every day we post photos and stories about Badgerland troops and Girl Scouts. We also use social media to share timely information, including pop-up programs for girls around Badgerland. Find quick access to Badgerland's social media channels on gsbadgerland.org. Customer care. Serving our volunteers is our top priority. Reach out anytime by either clicking on the Contact Us form at gsbadgerland.org or connect with the team weekdays 9 to 5 at info at gsbadgerland.org or call 1-800-236-2710. Messages sent over the weekend will be addressed within 24 hours of regular business hours. 24 hours of regular business hours. Badgerland also has newsletters. Watch your email for monthly newsletters with important information for leaders and families. If you're a troop co-leader and you are not receiving Badgerland Leader newsletters, connect with us now. You can also access all the newsletters under the News tab at gsbadgerland.org. Thank you for becoming a Girl Scout volunteer with Girl Scouts of Wisconsin Badgerland. We are so excited to have you. Now let's get out there and create a positive impact in the lives of Wisconsin's girls.